Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I'll introduce you to the reporting feature of Jira. So to get started, select the project for which you want to do the reports. And then click on the reports icon here in the left. It will open all the available reports in Jira. So reports are categorized in different categories. So first section is the agile reports, which will give you the burn down chart or sprint report velocity chart, etc. Um, the second section is issue analysis, which is gives more detail around the issues. So for example, you want to analyze the issues, be it defect or any other story or epic, then it you, you have reporting feature for that. Second one is created versus uh, resolved reports. So this is more useful for the for defect tracking or even for any any other issue type so there are multiple issue analysis reports available as well then the third section is around forecast and management which is usually which is basically time tracking so anything related to time or workload um, or forecast can be taken out from these forecast and management reports. The last section is other, which is these reports are available because of the add-in that we have added. So Zephyr, uh, the test management plugin that we have added, uh, Zephyr provides these report just to track the test execution or any, any status related to testing. So these are all default reports available in, in Jira at the moment. However, you can go to Atlassian Marketplace and find many more reports as per your need in the project. So, for example, you are not able to find the report that, that you need in the default reports, then you can just come here in the Marketplace and search for reports. And it will list many reports and depending on the need you can you know like pick one do the free trial and if it suits your project then you can buy it and further use those reports so that's pretty much about reports introduction in jira in next tutorial we will learn more about the specific reports thank you